On today's episode, we're gonna look at how you improve the quality of your photos on location during live action. Okay, so anybody who's not new to this channel will know that I shoot all live sport pretty much in JPEG unless I need to for other commercial regions. Basically everything I shoot that's live action is in JPEG, everything I shoot commercially that's in studio or uh, commercial work for a client on location that isn't live action sports or dome raw. The reason I do that is mainly because it allows me to um, create images a lot, lot quicker doesn't, doesn't mean I need to sit and edit them too much. I can just do my basic edits, get them out to a client and everyone's happy. The way that I do that and do that effectively is by using the color profiles and settings built in to the camera and the Canon cameras that I use. There are loads and loads of different options on Canon cameras. There'll be ones on Nikon and Sony and stuff, I'm aware. But by taking the time to kind of like craft your color profiles to match what you want to shoot and how you want to shoot it, you actually speed that edit process up again. Stuff looks great on the back of your camera, stuff looks great as soon as it hits your editing software. You haven't got to do a great deal to it and it can go straight out to a client. There's often times when I have the confidence to know that images that I've shot on my cameras can go straight out to a client without them being edited. Doesn't often happen. What I tend to do is make sure I've got like lens corrections and stuff on, but if I needed to in a pinch, I know I could do. And Part of me using color profiles and making sure they're correct and they work for me is that when I look on the back of a camera during a match or a game or an event or whatever it is, I like to be able to see exactly what it's going to look like as soon as I take it out of the camera and stick it in the laptop. The problem with not having a really good color profile is it can look off and the picture that you're looking at as you look on the back of the screen won't look the same and you feel a little bit kind of unconfident with what you're shooting. So color profiles are the way to go. Now, the ones that I have in Canon, I only tend to use uh, two mainly. One is the standard one, which is I use 90% of the time. And then I also have a monochrome one, which is kind of set up for when I do stuff um, where I know I'm going to be in like harsh light, it allows me to see light and shade quite well. It like, lets me see that contrast the way I want to see it. Now, I'm going to put my um, color profiles on to the screen now so you can see what how mine's set up. But they're really, really simple. All you do is, is pick the one that you're going to use and use the um, info set detail option. And then you've got options for sharpness, contrast, uh, saturation and color tone. Now personally for me, I leave color tone alone. I don't really want to play with it. If I ever need to on an indoor environment, I'll use color shift, which is a whole separate thing entirely, uh, which we might look at one day, but I, I leave color tone alone. And um, if I want to change the colors slightly in what I'm doing, it's all about white balance and making sure that I'm working off of 18% gray when I'm shooting in live events, that nine times out of 10 fixes any color issues that I might have. So I do sharpen quite a bit on JPEGs um, because the way I work, it just tends to come out well for me. If it didn't and it looked over sharpened, then I wouldn't sharpen them so much um, on the camera itself. But for me, I know it works. I played around with what where it feels right for me. And um, so I do sharpen them quite a bit. I give it a boost of contrast. That's a big thing for me. I like very punchy, contrasty images. I like the drop off between light and shadow. So I do ramp that contrast up on my color profile um, and I also turn the saturation up. That allows me to create really punchy, vibrant, colorful images straight in camera, straight away. And then allowing for the fact that I'm exposing correctly or whether that's because I'm underexposing because I've got really harsh light or I'm overexposing because it's a bit iffy, that gives me a nice solid image every single time. It gives me enough confidence to take that image out of my camera, hand it straight over to a client. What I tend to do 99 times out of 100 is I will give a little bit of vibrance change in Lightroom and I'll give a very little kind of blacks change in Lightroom, make sure my lens corrections are on and then away it goes. It doesn't have a lot of the edits on my photos, especially if it's live action stuff. So a really good way to get rock solid images straight away is to really play with your color profile. So have a look on the Canon cameras. It's in the first section, in the red section, um, as you go through the menus. 
it's on the third page it's on my third pages if you do that what happens is you can then kind of dial in the settings that you want just try it out and see what works for you but color profile is definitely the way to go if you've enjoyed this video hit like hit subscribe and um, that'd be much appreciated also make sure you sign up for the mailing list there's a link below there's some really really interesting stuff i'm working on at the minute that i'm going to launch via the mailing list first and um, to give the mailing list people first dibs so if you're not on the mailing list already follow the link get signed in um, and you'll get updates and stuff from me but that new news that will drop hopefully in the next couple of weeks if less time than that you'll get that first have a great rest of the day have a great rest of the week and we'll catch you again very, very soon Thank you.